Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can go ahead and farm the Hyperlane airdrop. Now Hyperlane has received an overall funding of around 18.5 million from different seed investors like there is Kraken Ventures, Figment Capital, Variant, Circle and few others. Now with regards to airdrop, this should be a decent airdrop. Now the first step uh, that you have to do is you have to go to Wixcan over here, all the links in the description so that it would be easier for you guys to navigate and potentially farm this airdrop. So once you are on this website over here, simply go down and click on add Viction network to your Metamask wallet. Now once you do that, uh, this Viction network would be added to your Metamask wallet over here. Now please note that this is not the testnet, uh, this is the actual mainnet over here which is Viction mainnet. And uh, once you do that, uh, the next step that you can do is basically you can go to Hyperlane Nexus over here which is powered by Mitosis and Neutron and over here you can go ahead and connect your Ethereum, Solana or Cosmos wallet and basically what you have to do is you will need to transfer some Ethereum from your Ethereum or maybe on the Solana chain or maybe on Cosmos chain to Victron chain over here. So if you go ahead and connect your uh, let's say Metamask wallet over here you can select the token as ETH over here and just put in the amount as to how much you want to transfer like example 0 0.01 and simply go ahead and copy and paste this address over here and paste it over here or alternatively you can go ahead and connect your wallet over here. Now once you do this the next step uh, that you can do is basically you can go to Mintamakli over here and over here uh, you can bridge uh, your coins and tokens from different chain to uh, Viction chain. So simply click over here and let's say if you want to like uh, move some ETH from scroll network to Victor network you can basically click on switch to scroll over here and then the network would be scroll in your metamask wallet and you can go ahead and basically bridge your token from scroll or uh, OP or maybe BNB, ARB, Polygon, Base to Victor chain over here and on the top it should be Hyperlane and not Polyhedra or uh, uh, Layer 0 and now what you can do is basically you can go ahead and also mint a HNFT on Hyperlane. So over here you will need to select this Hyperlane and not layer 0. And once you do that uh, you can either click on auto generate NFT image or maybe you can go ahead and upload your image by clicking over here. So I will click on auto generate image over here. Now you can go ahead and name your uh, NFT like anything. For example, I like Pudgy Zorb example and description you can put anything or it's optional even if you don't put that's perfectly fine. So I will just put collaboration of Pudgy's and uh, Zora Ops you can say. Now once you do that all you have to do is simply go ahead and click on mint over here and then you will be able to mint an HNFT on the hyper lane if you have enough ETH over here. Now the last step that you can do as of now is uh, basically you can go to bridge.inevm.com over here and as you can see it's built with Hyperlane and Caldera and over here you can basically uh, like uh, transfer your injective to IN EVM over here by simply connecting your ETH, Solana or Cosmos wallet but in this example I would suggest is uh, you can go ahead and maybe use the Cosmos wallet maybe Kepra or Leap, Leap is my favorite or even you have the option of Cosmos Station. So these are some of the steps uh, you can do as of now on the Hyperlane in order to farm this airdrop and I'm sure there would be more steps uh, that would be coming in the future in order to farm this Hyperlane airdrop because this should be a decent uh, airdrop in the future. So this is all for this video and in case if you have any doubts and questions please feel free to leave a comment. I would be more than happy to help you. Hope you like my video. Thank you for watching.